Hey guys, Robert to the Third American Angling, and today we're looking at the kind of the culmination of what we've been doing as far as our jigs go. And you know, I want to kind of talk about trailers. Now, trailers can be what make or break your jig. They can also totally negate whatever you've done with your jig as far as thinning the skirt, um, changing the banding, stuff like that. There are a lot of jigs that I don't run bandings on at all. You know, like take this one, for instance. This is a swim jig I run pretty fairly, um, pretty commonly, with just a chicker craw, and call that good. This works as well for swim baits. You know, I'll run that, and uh, you know, I'll I'll do decently well with that. But if I'm fishing for big fish, I'm fishing for stuff up in, you know, docks, structure, things like that. I'm throwing, you know, football heads and brush jigs and stuff like that. So that comes down to where your craw imitations come into the more play as far as being around rocks and, and you know places to hide. So. Then we'll get into things like this. This is, a lot of times I'll run something kind of like this. It's just a small, you know, craw. Um, you know, little critter craw, fighting bug, you know, stuff like that. Something really finessey, um, something really special. And you see how much bulk is there around this, and there's no need for that. So I'll, I'll come back through and just kind of thin this out. You know, and that and that to me looks a lot more fishy, uh, you know, as far as catching fish goes. Um, really thinned it out and made it more of a finesse jig with a little bit of weight to it, about a half ounce or so. You know, then we've got things like this, this, you know, the brush jigs. Um, very, very thin skirt, gives me a little bit of a flare when it sits with this craw fatty. You know, and, and that can be what makes or breaks your day. That being said, you know, this skirt, along with this bait, told them to gate each other, right? So this giant bait inside this thin skirt, usually it wouldn't be paired together, usually I'd throw something like a, a finesse craw on this or something like that, or a packet craw. Um, that being said, I like this because it gives me a little bit of flair, a little bit of action, along with a big profile without being obnoxious like some of the guys run you know, on the tours. Um, and then I've got, you know, odd trailers, things like a brush hog. You know, don't be afraid to reuse plastics, guys. Don't be afraid to, you know, take the things that are ruined, that are wrecked, and, and repurpose them. You know, fishing is all about outsmarting the competition and outsmarting that fish in the water. Um, and if you can do so effectively and, you know, cost efficiently, then do it. Um, so this is a UV brush hog. Um, I like the Thailand TV products. They're, they're very stout. They last a long time. They do well for me. Um, here we have just a basic craw. I want to say this is a vibe craw or a speed craw, something like that. It's been a while since I've played with these. Um, fairly common, fairly basic. Very, very thick skirt. You know, uh, color match craw. <coughs> you know, nothing, nothing crazy here. Pretty run of the mill. Um, something that's forget, you know, forgotten a lot though is just a basic, you know, twin tail jig. Um, or twin-tailed, you know, grub. You're looking at like a, a fat Albert, or you know, something like that. Um, these run extremely well as far as swim jigs go. Um, they work really well as far as you know, throwing around docks and stuff like that. Also, so it's it's a hard one to beat. Next up is something that I run a lot of, and it frustrates my partner to no end because I go through these like crazy. Um, I use a seven-inch ribbon tail that I have beaten to death, and I'll take the back half of that and I'll throw it on a jig. Um, the thing I like about these is, if you look at a basic grub, the tail will usually go to about here, um, and this has got a very long tail, so it doesn't take much to move, and it doesn't take much to, uh, to get a lot of action out of it. That's why I like these a lot. Finally, we have a finesse, um, you know, swim bait, and I actually pour these myself. I've seen them around, you know, from a few different companies, but these are something that I do myself. I, I, I like these, and I do well on them. Um, that being said, if you're going to run swim baits, be you know cautious because there are some that do not run well. Um, you know that being said, guys, if you have any questions on this or anything else like it, feel free to comment down below. As always, guys, have a good one and good luck on the water.